Hello YouTube, today we're going to be doing some parametric equation stuff um, with vectors. So you have your equation r of t, which is you could say your position, um, and the question is to find the velocity vector and also at that specific time. So very, very basic warm-up kind of problem, so simply the derivative of position is velocity, or velocity is um, r prime in this case. So let's simply take the derivative of each component, the i, j, and k component. So for the i component, the derivative of cosine is negative sine. The derivative of sine t is cosine t. And the derivative of sine 2t, take the um, derivative of sine is cosine. And then you make sure you multiply by the 2. And then that also stays the same, so 2 cosine 2t, and that's k. Um, so make sure you uh, you show the i, j, and k component. It can also be written like this, um, vector notation. Um, you can use these kind of like parentheses, but not quite, um, nor brackets. But um, that's just another way of denoting vectors. Um, also, make sure you state the domain. The domain in this case is all real numbers. That's very key because sometimes you might want to use a parametric equation over a certain time interval say from just 1 to zero, one to 2 or 0 to 3 or something, make sure you specify that so that's the key with parametric equations you need to find a time interval. Uh, finally, plug in time t equals pi over 2. Um, so sine of pi over 2 is 1 and we have a negative there so we have negative 1. Cosine of pi over 2 is 0. Um, 2 cosine 2 times pi over 2 so that's just cosine pi. Cosine of pi is negative 1. Negative 1 times 2 is negative 2 could also be written like this as well. And that's pretty much uh, the answer. So that's how we evaluate or, excuse me, calculate uh, the velocity vector as well as evaluate it at a certain point to see what uh, the speed is. So now let's do another one. Instead of doing derivatives, we're going to do integration. Um, so you have you want to solve for r of t when you're given dr dt or v of t, you could say. Um, so you know that the antiderivative of dr dt dt is r of t plus c because we have not given it a, this is an indefinite integral, so we have a constant. Um, so simply I'm going to take that equation, rewrite it, and just um, put the integral sign there because that's what we're going to do, we're going to anti-differentiate. Um, so the antiderivative of adt would be um, adt squared over 2, which is 90t squared. That's the i component. Now we got to do the j component. Same thing. We got uh, 90t squared, uh, so 16t cubed over 3. Um, oh, I think I did that wrong. It should be over 4. Let me check. Yeah, so I just wrote the number wrong. It should be 16t cubed um, for the given information. I'll also fix that over here. It's 3 um, in this case. So, and you got that. Um, but now we have an initial condition because we still have that plus c if you don't remember. Oh, crap. So, yeah, just pretend that's fixed. The 3 is there. So you have the plus 3, or plus c, excuse me. And um, now we have that initial condition so we can actually get um, the equation for that, um, for r of t. So uh, the initial condition is just 100j, but what does that look like? That's really 0i plus 100j. And simply to get that constant out of there and plug our initial condition into the picture, you simply add the components up. So 90t squared plus 0, still 90t squared. But then we have the j component, 90t squared minus 4t squared plus 100. And that's pretty much the answer. You just add the 100 portion there. So that's uh, that. So I just thought it would be a good problem to do some practicing um, here with um, parametric equations um, for vectors. So good luck and happy studying.